Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena, episode 112 for Wednesday, August 24th, 2016. Alarm clocks. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by Automatic, the small adapter that turns your clunker into a smarter connected car. For more information on their brand new Automatic Pro adapter, visit automatic.com slash twit and enter the limited time offer code twit for $20 off the new device. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. Are you a snoozer? Do you set your alarm knowing full well that you need to get up at that time, but you don't account for dreaming? Are you the type that likes to snooze instead of dismiss? Well, that can lead straight to oversleeping, which starts you off on the wrong foot when you finally pull yourself out of the sleep-induced coma. I've been there. I know. I used to set my radio alarm clock to white noise on the FM dial, crank it up as loud as it would go, and then set it across the room so I was forced to get out of bed to turn it off. I do not miss that at all. And I'm not joking at all when I say that. I think you can understand that. Let's see if we can't avoid that sort of chaos in the morning with three solid alarm clock apps that might have some extra motivation to get you up and out of bed in the morning. It's this week's Roundup. Here's a big and bold alarm clock with lots of options for making sure you don't do yourself in by ignoring it in the morning. Lifetime Alarm Clock promises to cure habitual oversleepers in a few ways. First, here's the main clock screen, and tapping that activates night mode, but that's too dark for now, so let's brighten it up and then head into the alarms. Now you tap the floating action button to create a new alarm and you're guided through the style of alarm that you want to create. There's peaceful wake, which promises a gradual nudging in the morning of a slow fade in of the alarm music. There's every day, which offers a pretty standard alarm with minimal fade to wake you up right away. And then there's fast and hard, which promises to be the alarm you pick when you absolutely positively can't risk not getting up in the morning. So let's dive into the settings for that one, just to show you how each alarm can be customized. Each alarm can be assigned to a specific group for easy recall later, school or work, for example. The alarm tone section is for picking what you wake to and how quickly it fires off and at, more importantly, at what volume. Picking a tone provides an insane number of options in different categories, including super loud ones, there's ambient tones, as well as music that happens to be stored on your device. All of those can be previewed with the play button that sits next to each sound. Now back into settings, there's a small selection of vibration patterns, or if you don't like those, you can turn those off. This pre-alarm section could be used to kind of ease you out of deep sleep before the metal guitars come screeching in on your main alarm, kind of get you ready for that alarm. Snooze settings galore here, as you can see, including different ways to activate snooze. And finally, challenge settings, which you'll see a lot in these alarm clock apps for those who need so badly to be given a difficult game to complete that will ensure that they are actually awake. The alarm won't turn off until you complete either a memory challenge or a few different types of mathematics challenges with varying degrees of difficulty that you can choose. Lifetime Alarm Clock is free with a premium upgrade for $3.99 that adds extra features like a timer to the mix. Find it in the Play Store right now. If you like your alarm clock like you like your sports, extreme, then you might get a kick in the pants out of the Red Bull Alert alarm clock. In fact, this clock challenges you to get up early and to stop snoozing, pitting your progress against your friends because, you know, bragging rights. Here's the welcome screen where we can fire off a new alarm by tapping that floating action button. Standard stuff here, of course, pick the time for the alarm and the days of the week that you'd like this alarm to happen. Here is the theme area. Right now, it's set to the surprise theme, but let's 
tap that and check out some of the other themes. And as you can see, they're all named according to different types of sport. Some Formula One in there, there's surfing, snowboarding, skateboarding, and a whole lot more. Each of those has its own sports-appropriate slideshow, along with music, and in some cases, like this skateboarding theme, sound effects to match the sport. Okay, so that, I mean, I think that's kind of cheesy. But if you love the sound of a Primo slide while you wake up in the morning, I guess that's for you. Now we'll back out and you can set more settings like the alarm volume. There's the maximum number of snoozes. And finally, the all-important goal for this alarm. That is the amount of time you want to be fully awake by. Again, Red Bull Alert Alarm is all about training you to get up quicker and earlier in the morning. When the alarm goes off, I can swipe lightly to snooze at varying lengths or all the way up to dismiss. And if I happen to hit my target, I'm rewarded with the goal reached message. Those stats are then shared with my friends and I can check in on my progress over time on this screen, showing my average dismiss time and percentage of times that I've crushed my goal. Is this overkill? Perhaps, but useful if you happen to like a challenge, even in the morning. Find Red Bull Alert in the Play Store for free. What if you want more than just alarm? You want extra context around that alarm. This is alarm pad, and it's designed with context in mind. Well, what does that mean? It means that not only do you get an alarm, but you also get additional information that might start you off on the right foot in the morning. Let's go ahead and create an alarm with the floating action button, of course, and we'll pick a time for starters. I can write in some notes about this alarm and also set up this sunrise mode, which basically fades the screen on with your device leading up to the alarm so it's not so jarring when it finally kicks in. You end up with this nice animation and sunrise on the phone when that's active. So let's tap more options and here's where the context comes in. The also show me box has options for showing a greeting. There's the current time the weather forecast, if you like, and my calendar options are in there as well uh, if I've happened to give app permissions for access to my calendar, that is. That context tells me what to expect from the moment I turn off the alarm. And there's also support for third-party extensions. There aren't a ton of them in here, but they allow for things like reminders, to-dos, and simple quotes tied into the alarm when it sounds. You also get your standard settings like ringtone selection, gentle alarm volume, and options for speaking any messages that you might have missed after you dismiss your alarm in the morning. And down in dismiss method, you get all sorts of different methods, including challenges, randomized dismiss positions for attentive dismissing in the morning, and an option to dismiss only once an NFC tag or QR code is scanned. Set those tags across the room like I did with my alarm clock with white noise, and that forces you out of bed to turn off the alarm, which could be just the ticket that you need. Alarm Pad is free with a $3.99 Pro upgrade that removes ads and allows for unlimited alarms. Find it in the Play Store now. Now that you're feeling well rested, first of all, congratulations and you're welcome. And second of all, let's take some time to thank the sponsor of this episode, and that is Automatic. It's a small adapter that turns your clunker into a smarter connected car. Automatic has just launched the Automatic Pro. That's their new unlimited 3G car adapter with no monthly fees or subscriptions. Always, their 3G lets you know where your vehicle is parked at any time or lets you track your vehicle even when you're not with it. It works with If This Then That for endless customization. You can do so much with If This Then That. Connecting your car to the rest of your life. And you can easily file business expenses with popular apps like Concur and Expensify. You can even link your car to a Nest thermostat or Amazon Echo. Just kind of take a minute to imagine that. Alexa, where did I park my car? Yes. You can do that. Get human help in a crash. Automatic Pro detects severe accidents and trained responders call for help when you can't. Automatic works on nearly every car made after 1996. It takes just minutes to connect your car to your iPhone or your Android device. It's all done via Bluetooth. Plus, it even integrates with Apple Watch and with Pebble. I have it plugged into my car, and it, you know, it tracks my trips to and from the gas station. So I know exactly how much gas 
you know, how much is it costing me to go to the gas station to fill up on gas? When you start opening up those possibilities, it's very eye-opening and it kind of changes your driving habits. Automatic Pro is normally $129.95, but when you use our exclusive offer code, TWIT, you're going to save $20 off. Visit automatic.com slash twit for more information and remember to use offer code twit to save $20 off the regular purchase price. That's automatic.com slash twit and we thank automatic for their support. All right, up next, a weather app that tells you what to wear because you need help. I don't want to be the one to tell you, but there you go. It's this week's big app. You need help. I'm serious. You might know what the weather is going to be like, but how exactly does that translate into the clothes that you pick for the day? You need help. And the app called Skylar is here to help you dress for success. And by success, I mean dress so you don't get wet when it's rainy outside. When you first log in, you're going to tell Skylar if you're a guy or a girl. And immediately you're presented with the current conditions on the right side, as you can see with the projected high and the low, along with how cloudy it might be or not at all. And then the left, there's this guy showing me the type of clothes I should wear. Earlier this morning, it was 61 degrees outside and cloudy, and I was told to wear this long sleeve track sweatsuit. Apparently, Skylar curates its looks from, quote, hundreds of the world's top brands. From Gucci to Dolce & Gabbana. So, you know, way more fashion forward than I am. I'm actually quite surprised there's no added functionality here to jump to Amazon to purchase the clothes you see. Uh, They should definitely get on that. They can make some money that way. Anyways, I can tap the forecast button at the bottom to see the day broken down a bit further up top hour by hour. And then below that, the upcoming week's worth of weather. I might have to invest in sweatsuits looking at this forecast. I'm pretty weak in that department. Skylar has a minimal quality to its design, almost kind of like an online magazine in its presentation. If you need help with your style in the morning, and let's face it, we all know that you do, though I'm not throwing stones here, I'm part of that club too, then find Skylar for free in the Play Store. On second thought, those styles are just a bit too fashion forward for me. Uh, But then again, I went ahead and superimposed my face on top of one of those styles. What do you think? Is it me? Does it bring out the color of my eyes? Send me your favorite apps and categories to arena at twit.tv. You can also post those to the subreddit at androidapparena.reddit.com. Share them with me and the rest of the world. The show plays live every Wednesday around 5 p.m. Pacific following Tech News Today at twit.tv slash live. And a new episode will always appear later in the evening in the feeds and on the show page. You can find that at twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell, and I'll see you next week in the arena.